So here it is, first ever vlog on my channel. Um, it is daunting. I've got a camera stuck in my face, don't know where to look. I'm used to being on the other side of the camera. Basically, I work in video production and that's my full-time job. Um, but I've decided to turn the camera on myself and I want to talk a bit about, about that today and why I've decided to do so. You see, I've got a problem. Um, a lot of my friends say I've got many problems, but my main problem is a little thing called perfectionism. I didn't know I had this problem until about three or four years ago when I was going through a bit of a rough time in my life and I decided to go and speak to essentially like a counsellor or a therapist. Um, and in those sessions something came up and it kind of changed my outlook on things and, and changed my life essentially. Um, the therapist or counsellor, whatever you want to call her or him, um, said to me, you're a perfectionist aren't you Mark? And I straight away said, no I'm not. And she said, yeah, yeah you are, you are. What's your definition of perfectionism? So I thought about it and I thought, Definition of perfectionism is someone who does something perfect all the time. That is a perfectionist, someone who nails it every time. And she looked at me and she said, what if you change that idea and what if perfectionism is actually someone who's trying to obtain perfectionism or obtain perfection all the time? And that was like a light bulb moment in my head where I thought, geez, I've been looking at this all wrong. And it made me realize throughout my life, I'd been like, living the life of a perfectionist. Um, everything I do, I build up in my mind of how I want it to look, how I want it to be, and the end result. And it never ever lives up to that in my life. Um, I find it really tough, especially within my work life, because I'm obviously producing content for companies and people, um, and I'm never happy with it, I'm never satisfied. I've even sat down and tried to do this video about 15 times um, because I'm not happy with it and this is the whole reason I started a vlog is to try and build a new habit in my mind of getting over perfectionism. Now perfectionism can be in so many ways like for me even doing this vlog if I had sat down I would have sat and thought for ages about kind of what camera I needed, what lighting, what was the story going to be and I had this huge vision in my mind of how it would look and it was going to be the best. But in reality it's going to probably be one of the worst videos I ever make because it's the first one and that's what I needed to realise is I just need to do things because the more you do things the more you progress and get better. Over the last kind of like six months or so I've had a bit of a, a funk with my creativity, like my work stuff. It's fine, but personally I felt like really creatively stunted and I wanted to do more personal projects. Um, so again, this is why I've kind of picked up the camera today and decided to do a vlog um, in the hope that by doing a vlog every day, which I hope to do for at least 100 days, if not at least till my birthday on July 3rd, because I think that'd be a great thing to kind of be an achievement of my birthday, looking back and seeing everything I'd done. But also, by doing a vlog every day, it's gonna force me to overcome this perfectionism and this thing in my mind that everything needs to be done like perfect or properly. Good is good enough, and that's what I need to learn. So doing it every day is gonna hopefully train a new habit in my mind that I can do this and not worry about everything being perfect all the time. Now, to aid into that, I am shooting on a camera I found in my drawer, which is like three years old. I've never really used it too much. It's a little Sony camera. Um, nothing kind of stands out about it, but this is essentially a metaphor. I think metaphor is the right word, I don't know, of getting over perfectionism. So, like I said, I could have picked the perfect camera, I could have picked one of my better cameras, but by using this camera, it's kind of a constant reminder that nothing, not everything has to be perfect. So like I say, doing this vlog is gonna force me to get over that and hopefully train new habits in my brain. Another thing that kind of stuck with me was about a year ago, a guy I follow on YouTube, Gary Vaynerchuk, I don't know if you know him, um, you probably do if you're on YouTube. He said something and it stuck with me and I've been sat on it for ages because I've not had the courage to kind of act upon it. And he said to document rather than create. So. To put it into context with me, my perfectionism trait or whatever, is 
I want to create things, um, but in my mind I need everything in the perfect conditions to do that. And that's obviously stunting any progress that I'm making because I'm not creating constantly. So he's saying you should document your journey instead. That's what I'm doing. This is the vlog. I'm going to document what I do day to day within my business and creativity and just see how it progresses. Hopefully it will force me to learn more, which I love doing, and also create better things and just get better and better as we go along. I want to keep this going as long as possible. Um, I've set myself 100 days as like a target because we've all got to have goals, right? That's another thing I need to learn is to have goals. Um, and document what's going on. And for me, what I'm going to get out of it is I want to look back in six months time, a year's time, even 10 years time. And I want to kind of look back at all these videos and see how far I've come. In being a perfectionist as well, you kind of always hard on yourself. Like I always look at the things that went wrong and rather than the achievements. So this is a great way for me to sit down. I can go back to whatever date, this date even, and just see what I did and kind of train my brain to recognize the achievements as well as the things that I can do better. So that's what I'll get out of it. What do I hope other people watching the video will get out of it? I hope that it will kind of inspire you potentially to do things that you want to do, things you've been putting off. If you're into the video production world, is maybe go out and create some videos or start a daily vlog. Um, it's just kind of to inspire people and hopefully they can also learn or you can learn from mistakes I make or even things I do well. Hopefully I'll do some things well. Um, so this video is really basically just like kind of explain what's going on with the channel and how I hope to progress in the future. Um, the reason I started it today is I've had quite a quiet day of my work, I've just been doing some admin things, but then the next kind of four days is going to be mentally busy. Um, so I thought it'd be great to document it. Tomorrow I've got a photo shoot in Cambridge, which is something I set up again to push me out of my comfort zone and get things done. I've basically loved photography as alongside my video for a long while, but just never really have the time to do it because I'm always busy with other projects. Um, and I love like kind of fashion photography and lifestyle photography and kind of fashion branding and stuff. So on a whim, the other night I contacted a model and said, are you free on Thursday? And we're gonna meet up in Cambridge for a couple of hours and do some portraits. The kind of caveat to that is, again, in keeping in line with the camera I'm filming on at the moment, is it not being the best camera or the perfect camera, is tomorrow I'm gonna to be shooting with a camera that camera and lens combo that's about coming up to potentially 10 years old. Um, and it cost me less than 250 pounds from secondhand websites. So I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow. If you're into photography, it'd be great to kind of watch, I think, that to show you that like, you don't need the most expensive equipment to get good results. Um, one of my pet hates is like on YouTube and that I see YouTubers, um, sorry, professionals who are like, yeah, you should shoot what you've, whatever you've got. You don't need expensive equipment. And then straight after that statement, pick up their 1DX Mark II or whatever and go and film or take photos of that. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong at all. All I'm saying is like by using cheaper equipment, I'm hoping to show you guys that it can be done on a budget and you don't need to wait for better equipment just to get out there and do it. Um, and then after 30 shoot on Thursday tomorrow, um, on Friday I am travelling up to Scotland for a wedding on Saturday that I'm filming. So I'll take you with me on that as well and document all that. And then Sunday is a mentally busy day because I've got to travel back down from Scotland to Cambridge. And then I'm filming in the evening a wrestling show in Cambridge with Southside Wrestling. And that'll be quite fun. It's like a WWE style show. So I'm definitely going to vlog that and show you what I do with that. Um, and then progressing into next week, I've got some other projects on the go and I shoot weddings throughout the year. So I'll be documenting a lot of that as well. If there's anything you kind of want me to talk about in future videos, leave a comment below. If you want to follow my journey, then definitely subscribe to my channel and I can promise you that I'm just going to be myself on it and I'm going to show warts and all and I'm going to document everything. So hopefully it can help you if you're learning a certain way you want to go or into a creative industry. 
just trying to think how to sign off this video. Everyone has like a sign off, don't they? So I need to think of something. Again, I will sit and think on it too much. So I'm just gonna think. One thing my wife said to me the other day, which I don't do anymore, which she said I should do, is when I first met her and when I was chatting to her and whatnot, and in the early stages of our relationship, I used to sign off every message I sent to her or end every message with keep smiling. So I guess I'm just gonna say that for today until I work out something better. So keep smiling everyone and enjoy your day. And I'll be back again tomorrow with a photo shoot. See you then.